Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to film the swatch party video because so so many of my YouTube friends are obsessed with this makeup brand and every once in a while I do get the question like Karen have you tried City Grace and I'm like well I mean I still am working my way through trying them out. I do have a swatch party video of their winter bundle from 2017. Um, so these shades on my channel, I'm going to link it up in the cards. I basically swatched those shadows and kind of put this brand on the, not on the back burner, but they were on my mind, but I just had so much going on. And then I went to Sri Lanka and then they announced that they were coming out with a dupe for the Icy Betch palette, which I wasn't even planning on buying. Uh, but then I saw the shades and like I was so freaked out that they were going to sell out. I bought it anyway. The only shades I really wanted from their green collection was this, but then I bought the Icy Betch set. So I have both, this is the winter set and this is the Icy Betch dupe, which I can't remember what they called it. But here are those shadows. So you got 12 shades. These are the two extra greens that I bought from their new expansion and they came out with a few more. So I want to do a swatch party on those show you guys the pigmentation and of course swatches on my skin and then I also picked up because they had a sale you guys so I just like went a little nuts and again FOMO got the best of me so I did pick up their fall 2017 bundle so these are the shades here um, I bought that bundle and I believe you can still buy those and then not to be left out I bought some shades from their um, 12 days of Christmas bundle uh, these two pinks and the yellows were just like screaming my name and then this shade which is called Cali is like a beautiful periwinkle blue and I had my eye on that shade since the day I scrolled through Sydney Grace's website. So I'm going to swatch all of these shades for you guys. So if you're interested just keep watching. I'm going to do the Tarte dupes first um, just because if you don't want to see the rest of them. You don't have to, so I'm going to stop yammering and get to swatching. Okay, I'm going to swatch. I'm going to start here. So this is the first shade I got. I was obsessed. I don't think I have a neon green like this. And this shade is called Tempest. Here is a finger swatch. Oh my god. There it is swatched on the back of my hand. So this is the shade Tempest. And then here is the next shade. This is called The Shallows, which is another beautiful green shade that I absolutely had to have. So gorgeous. And this one has like a golden shift. Oh my god. Okay, so here is a matte shadow from them. This is from the Icy Betch Dupe collection. So this is shade, it's called Sea Breeze. I don't have anything like this color in my collection. It's like a really, really pale green. And I don't know what that's going to look like on my skin tone, but I am so happy to try it out and see. This next shade is a, another matte. Sorry. And this is definitely true to its name. It's called Sea Foam. Beautiful shade. I haven't used this one yet. It's like a minty blue-green sea foam color, <laughs> of course. And then here is a beautiful shade that I think will pair so well with Sea Foam. It's called Perfect Vacation. It's like a beautiful seafoam shimmer shade. Gorgeous. I'm just making a mess, you guys. Super duper pretty colors. And then the next matte shade in the collection. This is a beautiful light blue. This is called Perfect Storm. It's not as periwinkle as the other shade, Cali. It's more like a gray blue. Super pretty, so pigmented. Okay, the next shade is more of a vibrant sky blue, and this is called Oasis. It's gorgeous. There is a finger swatch. And there it is, swatch on my arm. And then they have a beautiful blue, which is like the blue of the summer. This is called JB, and it's beautiful. It's just like the it blue of the summer. You guys know the KKW palette. I've seen it in the Zuri palette. Um, so there it is. Next shade is another green matte. This is called Scuba Diver. It's a beautiful blue green shadow. Oh my god, these are so soft and so flipping pigmented. Wow. 
There you go. So that is the shade Scuba Diver. This is the shade Mega... Megolden? Megolden, sorry. Can't read. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. And you can buy these all as singles too, I believe, if you don't want to buy the whole. Holy shit. <laughs> That's really, really pretty. Okay, the last four shades are darker, so I'm gonna swatch them maybe on my other hand. So this is the shade Nightfall. It's like a beautiful matte dark blue. Here is a finger swatch. I like these because I know they're gonna pair really well with all the shimmers. So there is a Nightfall, and then there is a dark shimmery blue if you're into a more smoky look. This is like almost black, and this is the shade Deep Water. Here it is. And I'm gonna swatch it on my hand. This is definitely a color that is outside of my comfort zone. Here is a beautiful green, like army green matte shade. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to put that in my crease. This is the shade Turtle Bay. It kind of looks like the shade in the Kat Von D palette, the 10 year anniversary palette. If I look it up, I will put it on the screen for you guys, but very similar, like, I don't know, army green color and also uh, the green in the creepy cute. There's like a gray green color kind of looks like that too. And then the deepest matte in that little bundle is a shade called Island Paradise, and it's a dark, dark, dark green. There you go. Okay, guys, so here are all the shades in the Sydney Grace Icy Bitch Dupe, you know, little thing. I think it was called the No Joke Bundle is what it's called, I believe, on their website. And I cannot remember the retail price, but I will put it on the screen for you guys. Also, these two greens I just added to my cart. Uh, because I was really attracted to these two shades as well. So those don't come in the No Joke Bundle, but everything else, all these other 12 shades, are included in the No Joke Bundle. So I would highly recommend, if you're interested in some new shades and you don't want to wait for Tarte to get their poops in a group, I would recommend getting these ones. Okay, so now that I've swatched those guys, I'm going to swatch the rest of the shadows from Sydney Grace. I'm going to go ahead and swatch the fall bundle first because it's a bunch of beautiful neutrals. So we're going to start off with this peachy color called Pumpkin. Hello. Who doesn't need a shade like this for the crease? Beautiful. It's called Pumpkin. I'm just going to try and build it up a little bit so you guys can see it on my skin. I think, yeah, beautiful like start to a transition definitely pumpkin then we have this gorgeous shade called fireside which is a beautiful champagne color of course who doesn't love that in the fall gorgeous vibrant freaking shimmer shade from them never have too many shades like this this is called haystack and it's that beautiful brown mustardy color almost it's very close to my skin tone so you guys are gonna have a hard time seeing it but here is what it looks like in the pan. And then another beautiful neutral shimmer. It's called Brilliant. I love shades like this. Just to throw on, on the lid, of course. And it's so pigmented and soft and gorgeous. So those are the first four shades. This is the shade Thankful, of course. Perfect fall palette name for a shadow. It's a beautiful corally uh, orange color. So beautiful. I need to get more use out of these shadows. I am in the process of testing so many palettes right now, so they will get more love from me eventually. But I wanted to throw up some swatches in case you guys were interested in trying out Sydney Grace, but you hadn't quite seen swatches. To be completely honest, I know they're an indie brand, but their swatches on their site do not do their shadows justice at all. I'm just gonna say that as a quick little criticism to them. I think it's definitely a positive, uh, but I feel like they would definitely benefit from more swatches on their website. So this is the shade Wheat. Again, it's just another throw in the crease kind of shade. I mean, who doesn't love these? And then of course the color that everybody loves in the fall. It's a nice rust named Harvest. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at this, you guys. I remember when I first watched these shadows, I was just like freaking out about the pigmentation. 
because I'd never seen anything like it. This is the shade Autumn. Beautiful. Just a nice burgundy shadow. Oh, pretty. I think I need, it's more like a shimmer. It's not really a metallic shade. So there is the shade Autumn. Okay, this is beautiful. Here is a nice green shade called Fallen. It's kind of like mimics the shade of Fallen Leaves, I'm guessing, is the inspiration. So let me give you a good swatch. Again, that one is more of a shimmer, not really a metallic. We have a beautiful matte green to pair with Fallen called Woodland. This is what it looks like. Yeah. They blend so beautifully. And then this matte brown for, of course, smoking out your shadows. Here is what it looks like. Do you guys see that pigmentation? Gorgeous, right? And then finally, what a fall bundle would be complete without a shade like this. This is called Bountiful, and it's like a beautiful uh, burgundy slash brown shade. There you go. So that is all the swatches from the Sydney Grace Fall 2017 bundle. If you don't want to go back in time, maybe just wait and see what their fall bundle will be this year. I'm sure it'll be so exciting <laughs> for all of us makeup lovers. I have been keeping an eye on them. I know they're restocking their cream shadows soon. So I'm so excited because I kind of want to pick some of those up too. So now that we swatched the fall bundle, I'm going to go ahead and swatch these other extra shades I picked up from the website. So I have been dying to dig my hands into the shade Cali, which is this beautiful periwinkle shade. And I haven't really seen a shade like this much anywhere. So there is what it looks like. I think this is such a cute shade for the summertime to just kind of throw in your crease or all over your lid. So I got to work on that. Here is another shade. It's just a nice champagne shade called Blushed. So I'm going to swatch that for you. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so metallic, you guys. It's unreal. Unreal. Oh my god. That's so gorgeous. So pretty. Okay, this one I was really excited for. This is called The Greatest Gift. And it just looked so beautiful in their swatches. It's like a pinky, purpley, green, shifting, duochrome, heavenly. Oh my god. I don't know if it's going to capture the duochrome of this, but it's like a pink to green. So there is the shade right there. Gorge, 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 gorge. And then we have this shade, which is called Turtle Doves, and this is from the 12 Days of Christmas. So they had like, you know, on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. I can't remember what she gave to you. Um, but was it like three turtle doves, I think? So there's turtle doves. You guys can correct me. I cannot remember to save my life. But here are those four shades. Now let's swatch the other vibrant, vibrant colors. You guys, yellow is like such a hot color for summer. Are you guys ready? This one is gorgeous. This again is Maids of Milking from that song, The 12 Days of Christmas. Holy shit, this is so pretty. It's like a pink with a purple duochrome. I'm just going to show you the holy guac. Honestly, like I can't. I can't even. Okay, I'm going to swatch the other shade. This one I really wanted as well. This is called Ladies Dancing. Oh, God. My husband loves dual chromes like this. These kind of remind me a little bit of the Cleonod Cosmetics shadows as well. Holy guac a moly. <laughs> Three yellow goldeny shades. I'm going to swatch those. So the first shade I really, 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 really wanted this is, again, from the 12 Days of Christmas collection. No, this isn't from 12. This is from their, I think, permanent line. It's called Sunbeam. It's gorgeous. It's like a bright yellow. It's like a metallic, though. But I feel like you could definitely, like, blend this into the crease. Holy guac. And then I wanted every shade of yellow that they had on their website. So this is Geese Elaine. This is from... The 12 Days of Christmas, because there's a, 
nine Gisele. I don't know, you guys. Five golden rings. So that's Gisele. Beautiful. This is a matte, you know, yellow. So pretty. And then we've got, is this golden rings? This is golden rings. Five golden rings. Four mockingbirds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. And a partridge in a pear tree. Okay, that's not helpful. I'm sorry for singing. Okay, so these are the extra shades. I believe these are all still on their website. Um, I don't know if you're just planning on discontinuing any of them. If I find out they are discontinued, I will try and list them on the screen so you guys know. But I'm telling you guys, great indie brand. I've tried out a lot of indie brands. Sydney Grace is my favorite. I don't even know like what the ranking of the other ones is. Sydney Grace is my favorite because they have the best colors and the formula is insane. I've tried like Davina, Strobe, you know, a bunch of others. Um, but right now, Sydney Grace is my favorite. I don't see that changing anytime soon. I cannot wait to play with these shadows and let me know what you guys' favorite shade from Sydney Grace is if I need to add it to my collection. Love to hear from you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this watch video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.